Hey guys, checking out. Oh, hi, honey. You're checking out your bear spray. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Coastside Family Adventures. Um, we saw a couple of days ago that there is a missing person that actually camped here on the Shavava Loop Road and has been seen last on Sunday. And guess what? Sunday night, Matt and I both woke up from gunshots. Very, very close. Matt and I both heard it. And then, of course, I saw it on Facebook that there is a missing person since Sunday. So we decided today is Thursday. And today it was posted by the Shalon County Sheriff's on Facebook, too. So we decided to just make a little, um, I don't know, take a little bit of time here and walk on the trails that surround the RV park and see what we can see. And guys, we have no idea if the gunshots actually are related to the missing person. It's just a very strange coincidence. We hear, I mean, don't get me wrong, we hear gunshots here all the time. But it's more in the distance, you know, people in the mountains or maybe on their own properties. They do shoot guns and we hear that quite a bit. But for it to come, to, you know, to be right here at the property... That is very unusual. Okay, so the trails are getting a little bit harder here for Daniel to ride his bike, but... The geese? So cool. Okay, this is all getting a little bit crazy here, but we got to make it over there, Daniel. Okay. Now the logs are going to turn here. Let me hold your hand because the logs turn. So, come on. Okay, good. Another step. They don't turn. Okay, good. Keep going. Another step. It's all water. Oh my God. All right. Is there like a part where it's not so wet? <laughs> oh my God. I am... My shoes are soaking wet. Wow. Okay, I think we made it out of the swamp. Definitely enough places around us where somebody could be camping. I sure wish we knew exactly where he was seen last and where they camped. So apparently they were camping, him and his wife, and he said... He's going to go to his car really quick and never came back. So, now if we had more information, that would be nice. Because the car was still there when the wife got to the car, but the guy was gone. At least that's what the story is. And this is just what mosquito spray. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of mosquitoes around. Just in case, why you, if you're wondering why Christian isn't with us, he decided he did not want to go on a search for possibly finding a dead body <laughs> and stayed at the RV to play video games. Um. Holy moly. <laughs> a little okay. obstacle here. Okay. Two holes, Daniel, on the bike. Woohoo! If they were camping outside of a designated camping campground, they could have been anywhere. There are so many trails here and so many spots. Okay, so I, I seriously think we need to get more information on where exactly were they camping, where exactly was the last spot the wife saw him. And then that's where we start searching. <laughs> Go over 
I kind of feel like Christian is missing out. This is so amazing, actually. It's not the nicest mission, but just so amazing to be out here. Let me look underneath this bridge here. Oh. I don't know. Okay, so there could be easily a car parked here. Look, there's actually tire. There's tire marks here. There was definitely a car parked here. And then there's another trail that goes in here. Somebody definitely was here. A beer, soda can, sandwich, uneaten sandwich. Stop it. Wow, this is so crazy. All right, can you make it through, Daniel? I can. You can? Okay, then go. make my way through here Ooh. whoa okay go. Oh. <laughs> let me go up here hang on I want to see this oh that's not the river that's a pond holy moly look at this yeah but you can hear the river over there yeah the river is close in fact I can see the river back there in the distance Look at this, I just found a fort. Wow. Oh, look at this. Somebody actually built a freaking fort in here. That's crazy. Baby, we are reliving our childhood and Christian is totally missing out. This is how we used to live, man. Exploring and finding forts. Right? Pretty <laughs> so kids made it. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe a little bit older than kids. Teenagers? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I am 100% sure that's the gazebo. Is that the gazebo? That is the gazebo. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. There's the house, guys. Right there. And we really, walking down here, had no idea that that's what we would see there is the house that we almost owned <laughs> and we are very very bummed about it but there it is wow okay well let's go back and then we'll take the other trail that goes towards the RV park I guess Believe it or not, we found another wood, a fort in the woods. This one is, looks really old and I don't think they used a lot of screws. This looks like they tied this together. Wow. Old, definitely. Nobody has been working on this for a long time. I'm going to park the bike again because right here is the Shavara River Trail. We're going to make it down there. Okay, so we pretty much gave up our search by now Oof, because we are on our park property and not near a road and they said that he had parked his car and walked back to the car so I assume they are not... Oh, where is the stick? I think I left it up there, Daniel. We'll find another one. I assume he is not over here. There you go. No, that one looks like it gives you a splinter. We'll find a nice one. But this is a really cool trail I want to show you guys. There are so many trails here. I mean, this is pretty much an impossible search in general because there are so many trails here. This is a pretty, pretty steep trail here. Worth it if you can handle the steep, you know, hiking. Definitely worth going down here. No, you're not going in, Daniel. <laughs> you're not going in the water. <laughs> no, no, stay back. It's wild. But this is such a cute little area here where the, the wa water is actually blocked from going crazy. Look how crazy it is going. Then you have to take your socks and shoes off, Daniel. I will. 
Okay. We actually went gold panning here. And Daniel went skinny dipping. <laughs> the last time we were down here, right Daniel? Yeah, it's a total calm spot here. This is perfect. Crazy. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, stay with daddy. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> Go to daddy. Go to daddy. He wants to swim. What the heck? Are you crazy? Uh oh. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? He got scared. Go know. slow when you're scared. Okay, go, go slow. slow. Go slow. Are you okay? <gasps> okay, take a deep breath. Did you slip? Yes. I was about to jump in. Oh. Are you okay? I did not know it was that deep. Yeah, yeah, it's deep, Daniel. Take, take that. Yeah, take that off and then put this on. Okay. Okay, well, let's get back. We are only about 15 minutes from the RV, so let's get back. For one minute, I turn the freaking camera off and Daniel falls in the freaking river. <laughs> Holy moly, Daniel. Daniel is such a trooper, guys. I can't even tell you. That river water, I'm sure, was absolutely freezing. Yeah. Let's get back.